Hello guys, welcome back to Literary Tutorial by Anisha Mangla. Today's topic is Chaucer, Geoffrey Chaucer. In this, I will be giving you some tricks how to learn the uh, sequence of the Chaucer's um, books and uh, period and the reigns of the monarch. And uh, this all have taken from the Hudson, William J. Long, Ruth Leach. I hope you like my video. So, so let's start with it. Now, Chaucer. Uh, Chaucer was born 1340 and ruled uh, and uh, lived up till 1400. The contribution of Chaucer can be determined from the fact that the entire era is defined by his name. We know that the first age after the uh, Normans age is Chaucer age, which is a very important age from the literature point of view. Now, he lived during the reign of three rulers. Now, you even need to know who are they and what are the time periods and how to learn it. So, he was born at the time of Edward III. From, and then he lived in the time period of Richard II, 1367 to 1399. And then we have Henry IV, 1399. And he, after that, in 1400, Chaucer. Died. Now, how you are going to learn this sequence? Very uh, easy trick to learn is era. The last one is not A, but H. So, you can uh, learn in the sequence E, R, H, era. Now, the word Chaucer is derived from the French word Chaucer, which means shoemaker. Now, from the name only, you would be uh, assuming that, that he must be a man from the low class family but no he was a person from a very good family who has link with the officials Chaucer was born in family of wine trader a wealthy city gentleman he was son of John Chaucer then he died and then buried at West Westminster Abbey Westminster me e anatha double r age e r abbey and this is now popularly known as poets corner Right, इसको हमने अगर बुलाना है तो इसको हम poets corner बुलाएंगे जहाँ पर काफी सारे important जो poets हैं वो buried हुए हैं, right? Then he born as I have already told you that he was born and then lived and then died during these important reigns, reigns of the monarch. In 1359, he was imprisoned as he was very important official. Uh, so he was imprisoned one time uh, while he was uh, fighting with the rivals. And uh, but soon he was freed by Edward III, who uh, for whom he was very special, and by paying the ransom. At that time, the ransom was very high. So from that only we can assume that he uh, owned a very special place in the uh, court. He was an important official who often entrusted with diplomatic missions on the continent, right? Now we are going to uh, learn a little about Chaucer's style before moving on to more of it, that who is he and what kind of personality he, he is, <coughs> okay? So uh, his style is a wide range of cultural references from throughout the Europe was there. Then his style of writing was seven line stanza, which was A B A B B C C, which is also known as Chaucerian rhyme meter. Chaucer made extensive use of everyday colloquial speech, which contains more old English derived word like we can see in the Summoner's tale. In Summoner's tale, we can find that it's ne bahut sare jo common words se wo use kiye the jo us time par bahut chal rahe the, right? Fir range and uh, variety of Chaucer's English jo us time ki jo range or variety thi wo bahut hi ab ki ab ki kya ban gaye standardized English. So ham isse pata lagta hai hume ki iska contribution jo tha wo bahut important hai. Right. Now, he was very much influenced by the uh, writers like Dante, Petrarch and Boccaccio. Right. So, he uh, in ke contact mein hai when he was in a mission, uh, mission, diplomatic mission. And this reference we can find in Clerk's Tale. Now, who was Chaucer? In kya kuch kiya? Kya important cheezin ki? Wo hum isme janenge. 
क्रोनोलॉजिकल सीक्वेंस में ताकि आपको याद करना इजी हो जाए सो दैट यू कैन रिमेम्बर इजिली ही वॉज अ प्रोफेशनल कोर्ट इयर काइंड ऑफ अ सिविल सर्वेंट Uh, 1357 at the age of 17 he received a court of appointment as page to elizabeth de burg right 59 he joined army and fought against french in 67 uh, he became a valetius which is also known as equier and he was a member of the royal household and before this in 1366 he married he became husband to philippa de roet and she was also a very important uh, person uh, who has the official con- uh, connections with the court then in 1370 he went on the diplomatic mach- missions 72 mein ye trip pe gaye italy pe different different jab itna diplomatic missions pe gaye tab in inki mulakat dante petrar aur bacchio se hui jinse ye kafi influence hue inke work jo hai ye unse kafi unke kafi jo works hai unme unka dikhta hai influence then 74 he became the controller of custom and subsidy on wool which is a very important position in regard to finance so we can again see how important this personality was then 89 may cabinet clerk of king's work then he sat in the parliament as knight of the shire of kent and he was an important writer as we know because all his works are very important and with his uh, his advent only when the english uh, literature came to existence now chaucer's age what kind of a age he was in uh, edward's reign was there which marked the highest development of medieval civilization in england then midsummer of english chivalry then romantic idealism in court can be seen and this can be also be seen in knight's tale war and victory war of cicery and poitiers uh, these can be seen in the chronicles of frosart then there was the expansion of trade rise in wealth among commercial classes commercial classes jo thi wo to bahut hi achhi thi but jo uh, masses the common man the unki jo condition thi that was pitiable ab kaun kaun se inko title mile sobriquet father of english poetry morning star of renaissance father of english literature earliest of great modern prince of plagiarist now what kind of acha ye jo jitne bhi hain ye aapko yaad karna aur aapko dimag mein rakhna bahut zaruri hai so a question if comes so you can answer it social and political environment what kind of a social and political environment was there so we all know at that time famine was there and after that we had uh, we had a poli- um, plague and then famine right and then we have black death ब्लैक डेथ जो है वो उसका अक्रेंस काफी बार हुआ पहले 48 एट टू फिर 62 में 67 में एंड 70 फिर फ्रेंच वॉर्स हुए तो इनके कारण क्या हुआ अब सारा कुछ नेगेटिव नेगेटिव हो रहा था जिसके कारण हैवी टैक्सेस पे करना पड़ा राइट तो जिसके अगेंस्ट रिबेलियन हुआ तो ये जो रिबेलियन था अडर हु वॉज दिस इट वॉज अंगर अंडर वॉट टाइलर Jack Straw and John Ball. Then there was much corruption of church because uh, people used to um, follow church a lot. Whatever they used to say, they used to think that it is the word of God. So that's why the corruption was uprising day by day. Then there was an the important role of John Wycliffe. Uh, why it was important, like John Wycliffe's contribution, because he revived spiritual. Christianity because there was lot of corruption. Now three phases of Chaucer's life. Now his life can be divided into three phases. First phase is of thirty years, जब वो youth में थे अपने and early manhood, जहाँ पर उनका जो main influence था वो French models का था. Then fifteen years active life as diplomat and man of affairs, strong Italian influence, and third one is 15 years again english period 
Now, important literary periods we are going to discuss works. How to uh, again? I would be telling you the tricks. Unko kaise apne yaad karna hai? Theke according to the periods or important books. French period. सबसे पहले आ गया French. पहले हम बताएँ ना French, Italian और American. Five. ऐसे हम याद करें. English. Sorry. French, Italian and English. French period. 1359 से लेके 72 तक 13 इयर्स का, फिर इटालियन पीरियड 1373 से 84 तक का 14 इयर्स का, और फिर इंग्लिश पीरियड 1385 से 1400 का विच इस 15 इयर्स, तो 30, 14 एंड 15 इयर्स, तो इफ यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर द सीक्वेंस ट्रिक इस फाइव एफ आई ई so language, what kind of a language was used? Uh, it was Middle English. Now, first is that of French influence. When, through writing in English, he drew inspiration from rich French poetry of the period, which was produced partially in France, partially in England. Chaucer experimented with the numer numerous lyric form which the French poet has brought to perfection. He also translated in whole or in part. The most important of the medieval French narrative poems the 13th century was Roman de la Rose of Loris and Okay, again, this is important uh, from the Old English period that uh, this is uh, this work, Roman de Le Ross, has been written by Loris and Mionk. Now, first period, we are going to discuss about the first period, French period, what kind of a text was there, 15, 13, 1359 to 72. The Mount of Rose, Book of Duchess. Complied de Pite, The ABC, Queen Annelida, Complete of Mars. And how you are going to learn, in the sequence how you are going to learn, you can uh, uh, learn this line. Queen Annelida and Remount needed a book of Duchess so that she can complete to Pite, learn ABC and complete Mars. Second period was the Italian period, 1373 to 1384. It is called his Italian period because during this time his work was modeled primarily on Dante and Boccaccio. So this period can be roughly dated from, but look, 1373 to 84 period, but in some places we get the period from 1379 to so, in this time period, हमने कौन कौन से books इन्होंने लिखी थी चौसर ने The House of Fame 1374 to 80, Parliament of Fowls 1380, The Unfinished Work है जो Legend of Good Women, Phil Trollis and Cressida, Anilida and Archetype, and how you are going to learn this? Trollis and Cressida saw a House of Fame which looked like Parliament. There, a good woman resided with Annalida and Archite. Now, third period, which is the English period, it is 1385 to 1400. Now, there are three important uh, things, hai, but there are three important hai, Canterbury Tales. We know that Canterbury Tales is the important in Kalikha, work hai, which is uh, again of an unfinished, unfinished task. So, it may have the treatise on the astrobil, uh, complaints to the empty purse and Canterbury tales. So, if you ask me about this particular text, which period comes from, then you should know that if there is a mount of the rose, trollis and chrysida, then which period comes from? राइट right. अब ये जो कैंटरबरी टेल्स था वो 1380 में शुरू हुआ था बट फिनिश्ड नहीं है व्हेन ही मेड सेवर एक्सपेडिशन टू फ्रांस फ्लैंडर एंड इटली ही ऑब्जर्वड मेन एंड मैनर्स जो हमें जिसका हमें वर्णन कैंटरबरी टेल्स में मिलता है ये जितने भी टेक्स्ट हैं इन सब के बारे में मैं आपको बताऊंगी डिटेल में अपनी नेक्स्ट वीडियो में राइट right? <coughs> Okay, Achha, again very important to note down is 
हु आर द इंग्लिश चौसेरियन एंड द स्कॉटिश चौसेरियन ये भी आपको क्वेश्चन पूछा जा सकता है इंग्लिश चौसेरियन में आते हैं लिडगेट ऑक्लीव जॉन स्केल्टन स्टीफन हॉक एंड अलेक्जेंडर बार्कली स्कॉटिश चर्चेरियन में आते हैं डेनबर्ग जेम्स वन डेविन डॉगलस एंड रॉबर्ट हेनरिसन ठीक है और मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया है डेंटे बुखैसी और पेट्रा के बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करते हैं इन द लाइफ ऑफ चौसो सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट माई टूडेज वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक डेट इफ यू लाइक डेट प्लीज शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड बिकॉज शेयरिंग इज केयरिंग थैंक यू